Why don't you wake up, you fucking sheep, stop being woke, and understand that Kanye is spitting the truth about these people that are puppeteers that run a global elite nationalist fascist organization. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the hit world. I'm your host, Logan Paul. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got George Janko over here, my friend for years. Hi. Yes, I that is Jesus. George Janko. I love Jesus. Jeez, okay, you yeah. don't have to make everything about Je Jesus. Jesus. Is, we love, we all love Jesus, but we just started the podcast, and you're already bringing him up. Hallelujah. Um, <laughs> and we have Mike here. Mike, what's going on? Can I say something real quick? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I too also really like Jesus, but you know who's better? Logan Paul. You look normal today, bro. You look like your normal <laughs> self. You sound the same, you know? I'm it's good to have you right here. Now. Good what? spirits. Uh, this is the Halloween episode, guys. You guessed it. And we are the cast of Impulsive. Guys, drink Prime. I only have 75% of my testicle. Uh, me and KSI used to be enemies, now we're friends. And we started this hydration company, and it's better than Gatorade. It's so good. Can I say something? <laughs> Can I say something real quick? <laughs> sure, Mike, yeah. This is actually, like, a really good drink. Thanks, Mike. Like I, re like I, I'm not even kidding. Like, yeah, yeah, this no, no, is we, the we, drink that I like drink on. Like, okay, so let me tell you something. I was dude, walking this okay, morning. Okay, bro, we, we, we get it. We get it. Do this every single yeah, episode. like we got to give each other time to speak if we want this show to be better than Nelk Boys because they're creeping up and they're gonna pass us soon if we don't stop talking <laughs> over. Have each other. you watched them? Have you watched Nelk Boys? Uh, I've, I've, I've watched a couple clips. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make me a loser? What are you getting at? I'm just saying what they're doing is like. <laughs> really cool it's actually like incredible what they're doing over there is actually incredible it's not as good as this drink like this drink is really good can i say something real quick i don't like what you're saying mike you're saying that our competition is better than us you know i'm extremely competitive i will be the richest entertainer not just youtuber i said entertainer with all of my businesses and companies and venture capital firms and my performances in the WWE, I can do backflips. I started a hydration Ken. company. It's got coconut water, you low did. sugar, electrolytes. And I'm your best I'm friend. I'm doing so much. I will be the first YouTuber to make it into outer space. He will. I'm your best friend, too. Uh, it's. Can I say something real quick? <laughs> Stop it. I can't do this shit the whole fucking episode, man. I'm getting a headache already, bro. And I thought you were going to do a clown voice, not even Mike's. I said when Mike gets here, I'll do a clown voice. Yeah, okay. When so Mike for gets now, here, you're I'm doing a Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? Okay, so let me explain the joke, uh, over explain it here. Mike usually gets a lot of clown emojis. Mike's a clown, so. When he walks in and he thinks that we are just the co-hosts of Impulsive and he's going to play himself, we already have a clown, Mike, here, and he's just going to do a clown voice. He's going to piss Mike off bad. This is gonna, Actually, this might end our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Logan doesn't fucking get mad. George, I don't give a fuck, because if he says something stupid, it's on. You know what I'm saying, George? What, you want to fight? Jesus is away, not fighting. Why do we even have him here on the podcast? They serve about the same function. If, 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 if... if. <laughs> like Stephen and George. Yeah. George talks about Jesus, and Stephen's always just like, "What's your body count? Yeah, <laughs> how many people have you fucked?" <laughs> I fucked the girl last night. Well, guys, it's Halloween. You know we love Halloween, so we go over the top for it every year. Usually, we we used to do the barbershop episodes, but now we are focusing but now here the on the podcast on, makes on the more podcast money. makes more money. So we are focusing shit. more. We're focusing more on this, and you know what? If you don't like it. You're still fucking here, so deal with it. You're threatening your audience to just stay? Yeah. Hit that subscribe this button. This is all you get. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? If you guys are not subscribed, you fucking good. We have to do something about you it. You fucking good, bro? We have to do something. He threatens his audience. So should we be in the middle of like a bit? Like, a, like what, what What do they talk about on Impulsive? You would tell a story about how you got your dick sucked in a bathroom or something right. at a club. I was at Poppy. And yeah, uh, yeah, popular LA nightclub. Yeah. Aren't you a little old to be going there? I, I, aren't I, I a little old to be going anywhere? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, there was like this girl with me, right? Oh, yeah. And I went to the bathroom <laughs> with her and we were like talking and like... You're in the bathroom now with <laughs> the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're like debating on like smoking heroin. <laughs> <laughs> like I like I'm like I'm like this close to relapse. Like no, no, okay, I gotta yeah, stop. yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. 
<laughs> Keep going. She's gonna come in any second. Like I, I was like this close to like relapse, but instead I was just like, why don't you just like suck my dick here in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah just and get your like, dick sucked. You in know Jeff Wittick? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, you know up like, to something. Uh, his audience, his audience is actually one of my favorite audiences. Like they're, they're just good. They're genuinely just really okay, good. Okay, can you you want to go? And on the crew, this? the crew is actually phenomenal. Like they, the work that they put into those videos is like. The weatherman guy though, he's blown away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, I get it, I get it. Wittick, yeah, his crew is they're always up to something. Bunch of goofballs. Those yeah, guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Jesus. Yeah. Do you know his eye in real life is actually like really fucked up? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it's real <laughs> fucked up. With that one. Who are we making fun of here now? <laughs> 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 you <laughs> okay, go on with the story. So yeah, Wittick, Wittick, yeah, we know Wittick. The guy, oh, yeah, you yeah. do yeah, the yeah. vlogs, Wittick got yeah, hit yeah. by a crane. Yeah, move on, on with the story. Can I, I just say Wittick, something yeah. real quick? Um, he was actually, he cut my finger, my thumb, right? No way. Yeah, and I got hammered that night, and I think I m made out with, like, Tana. Tana? Yeah. My brother's ex? <sighs> <laughs> I'm doing Logan Jake Paul dated her. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> why are you... Because I'm, like, because you are mad at me, and I don't want you to be mad at me. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at you, dude. It's fine. Do you know, I love you. And this drink is actually like really good. Mm. You know, actually, I brought over some of the packets for Jeff. Yeah, yeah I saw that on Wittick's show. <laughs> go, yeah, go, yeah. Go, go, go. I, I was trying to steal like his moment. Yeah, I saw it while he was crying yeah. about his dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you came in and promoted Prime? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that, but I still can't give you equity in the company. Okay. It's just not, it'd be tough because then I have to go into KSI's. But I want to know that I am ruining interpersonal relationships for the good of Prime. All right, guys, a quick word from our sponsors. Today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Have you got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and you need to pick up those last-minute sweets and treats for Halloween? What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get the best Halloween candy, decor, and party <laughs> supplies around, all from DoorDash. I use DoorDash to get all of us these costumes just in time for this podcast. The thrill of finding the perfect costume, the anticipation of trick-or-treating, the excitement, having the spookiest decorations in the neighborhood. You can get all your Halloween sweets, treats, and supplies all in one place, delivered directly to your door with DoorDash. With DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love too. From the stores and restaurants to the dashers driving around, each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved. Because with DoorDash, there is a neighborhood of good in every order. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM22. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code Impulsive, uh, enter code JeffFM22. Don't forget, that's code JeffFM22 for 50% off a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Come on in. Here we go. Our guest. Tana Mojo. She used to date my brother. Have a seat. Have a That's seat. So Sit down. Disgusting. What's going on with you and my brother? Are you guys still fooling around? He's Logan Paul right now, and it's making me want to throw uh, who, up. Who, is this a live stream? Do you like my costume? <laughs> Oh, wow, that's cool. Look at this. Wow, wow. sit down. Have, have you ever seat. actually had to use one of those? <laughs> okay, Tana, thank you for coming. You look great. <laughs> Drink Prime? Where's your, oh, there's your Prime. Did yeah. you, it, have you actually tried it? Do you want yeah, some? Yeah, fire. Have you actually tried it? It's actually like a really good drink. Are you Mike? Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> How? <laughs> that. He looks identical, huh? <laughs> no equity still? No equity, no. I, it's actually just a really good drink. <laughs> Is it a funny bit that we're actually dressed like the oh, other yeah, two <laughs> members <laughs> george. He's, he's george hey george love god still <clears throat> yes i love god love that for you. yeah i'm logan normal and then mike, mike is normal. a yeah yeah that's uh -huh. right mike normal i thought actual mike was gonna be here i was so excited you look great though you did thank you this is a, a cool costume thank you for popping in and doing the <laughs> halloween episode i know you love halloween i was gonna come on some whore shit but i have things to do so i decided i would just you love Halloween. Yeah, put those on. I love Halloween, but I'm done, Jeff. This year is like, I feel 40. I feel like you. Like, I'm done. I'm fucking done. Next okay. year on actual Halloween, I'm going to put on Talk to me some. as if I was Logan today for the entire episode. Can we do that? Yeah. Tell your brother to call me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> do you still have a thing for Jake? No. I was just kidding. Okay. Hit that um, subscribe button. Hey, that's Logan. Right, smash that subscribe button. I'm really nice to Logan, though. Like, we don't have, like, the same... Yeah, I that's agree. why I was saying treat me like Logan so you can be nice to me because you're just oh, calling me old. I miss you. I love you. How's wrestling? I love wrestling? you, too. We, uh, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. I do backflips now. Uh, I do a split. That's uh, incredible. My brother and I are actually headlining 
two gigantic arenas back to back in one week in two different combat sports i'm your best friend. mine is not real though (laughs) i and i'm your best friend though uh yeah mike you are uh (laughs) you're you're up there i'd say um can i just say something real quick sure mike you gotta really interrupt hey. people too. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah, a big... I, 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 right, right. So I, just, I can we can uh, I say something just really? <laughs> can, can we do the? Can we talk to the guest? Yeah, here? yeah. Let's talk to the guest. Okay. So, so actually, I was thinking the other day. All right. Dude, this mic. You guys gotta fix your setup. We had an eventful week. A lot of Halloween costumes. You had me dress up in multiple costumes. We're still not even done yet. We're not done yet. I'm really proud of you. I thought you were gonna be done after this week. Um, Jeff dressed up with me as the Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. I was talking about this today, though. You were like so bitching about it, so like on your man shit. Like you're like, I hate this. I'm not fucking doing this. And then you get there and you're like, show me this pen. Like you love it when you're there. You like got into character. Well, yeah. If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna go all in. But, but I can tell I you just, enjoyed yourself. You just don't want to. Oh, uh, I had a great time, and I'm <laughs> happy that you got me out of my comfort zone to do that because it's been a while since I did some shit like that. Yeah, got all dressed up like and BC. look at me now. I'm, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I did something inadvertently i wasn't doing what i did to make you happy but i did something this past week that made you really touched emotionally you were like this is so sweet yeah you, i don't you, know if you want to say what i i don't think we sh- no it's fine you just showed me that you're a true friend mm-hmm. you're a real one and mm-hmm. then i told you you know what i'll do another costume <laughs> i'll do another fucking costume got one more it'll be can we say um yeah. pam and tommy mm-hmm. we did wolf of wall street we did Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe, and JFK, and JFK, and now this will be our third and final costume. Yes. When did you guys I'll do that one? Again. What Marilyn on October sixth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did started that. off the month strong. Oh, bro, wow. we started. Yeah, we started Halloween costumes at the start of this month. That's why I'm over so the spooky awful. season. It's tough, huh? <laughs> like that light is so awful. It's giving me like epilepsy. So we. Sh- I had a mini scandal this week. Oh, did you? Yeah. So you might not want to be associated with me. I'm in hot water. I made a mistake and I did it on your podcast too. Um, I was like texting this guy and I was like, my ex, I was like, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer. Maybe that's why I like you. And I posted a screenshot of it to my story. And I just met like Evan Peters, you know, or like I like a, a rogue looking guy evil, who looks like he chews cigarettes. But I kind of look, I got a Dahmer thing going on right now. Yeah, you actually do. Like unironically, I did it. I was going for somebody else, but. <laughs> <laughs> what no, you don't. but um all the tiktok pages posted me saying that and they were not happy so i just want to formally apologize i wasn't trying to glamorize um death oh neither was i just now not at all <laughs> <laughs> and you know what i think andrew tate's a bad guy and he is set in the wrong example for our generation and it can be very damaging mm-hmm. and i don't like how he talks about women mm-hmm. and drink Duh. prime this is the best hydration drink in the biz we just passed gatorade on instagram followers <laughs> Instagram followers. We just passed them on Instagram followers. That's yeah, awesome. I mean, it's, they've been I love you. On it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you more. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hi, Steven. How are you? I'm George, not Steven. Oh, <laughs> did. damn. I had, I, had Steven. I had Steven questions, not great. George questions. Yeah, we can How's just be life? normal because this is so confusing. It's hard to like, do we do the episode? Yeah, in, we'll in just come back. I think we'll, we'll just go in and, in and out. out. Yeah. Okay, we'll you come know? back to it when Mike gets here and he see, he's going to be pissed when he sees this. <laughs> You know, Mike is not. So funny. The impulsive crew is a little bit more sensitive than we are. We have a lot darker sense of humor. Yeah, they're also way more successful. Though. That's yeah. true, and that's probably why. Yeah. Because they don't, <laughs> they, don't, they don't do the horrible things that we do. Hit that subscribe button. What's with this costume now? It's, you're, you are a plan B? I'm a slutty plan B. Okay, so. Don't you love it? Yeah. Took a lot of effort. I have to go somewhere after here, so I was like, let me just put plan B on my outfit. Are you going to a Halloween party after this? I'm not. I will be ripping this off shortly, but I think it's good. It's, I'm spreading awareness. Plan B. Um, <laughs> yeah. A, it's better than the other plan C, you know? Yeah. So. Wait, what's A? A, I guess. Pl- I plan- guess plan A is keeping it. No. Or is plan A abortion? No. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's plan C. That's plan C. The that's immediate a- group. No. Yeah. <laughs> Con- Kanye wouldn't like that one. But let's not. We're not going off what Kanye likes right now. That's that's. Let's yeah. not go there. You love Kanye. That's no. not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Right now, I don't like what he's doing. I, yeah. I was. Uh, I'm guilty. I was one of those guys that's like, oh, he's got a master plan. He's a genius. You know, yeah. but now after all this shit, I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? This is That's fucking fair. dumb. I, I walked in here the other day, and the first thing he says, he's like, "Man, I don't know if I could uh, stand behind Kanye anymore." 
No, it's so funny that that's like the first thing that he said. <laughs> He's like, good morning. Like, no, just not even good morning. It's what everybody's life has been. What's Kanye up to over the past week? Am I right? Yeah. Just watching his interviews and stuff. Yeah, I heard that he went to the Skechers headquarters trying to get them to like fucking have now, issues see, if there. He, if he didn't say all that anti-Semitic crazy shit that he said, mm. then that would have been a funny move for him to go to the Skechers thing like after he like scrap that adidas deal some fucking shape up yeezys it's so awful that would be hilarious though if kim kardashian was the face of sketchers too for like in the 2000s for a long time oh yeah mm-hmm. i think what he's flexing is that he's so influential that he can make anything cool that's what he was getting at all right today's episode is sponsored by my friends over at via hemp i was first introduced to via hemp from sugar sean o'malley's podcast my dear friend when i went back on his show a while ago and he is an elite athlete who is very picky about what he puts in his body and he loves these via hemp products he stands by them he takes them in training they make legal thc and cbd products that are based around specific effects such as focus recovery sleep or even just getting high i like to use the flow state this is my favorite right here i pop one or two of these i should say pop I actually chew them down they're delicious and they just get me into the flow state that's how i come up with these ideas these great genius ideas like this halloween costume these flow states that i take don't have thc it's cbg and cbd just gets my mind sharp and creative in the flow state i also like to take them before i go uh train martial arts they use the same thc you'll find in dispensary grade edibles but because they extract thc from hemp they can legally ship them right to your door in all 50 states they offer gummies smokables tinctures and more i use this roller right here for pain when i get an injury it's kind of like a like a cleaner version of Icy Hot. If you want to try their products, go to viahemp.com. That's V-I-I-A-H-E-M-P.com and use code Jeff for 15% off. Plus, they will add a free pack of their award-winning THC gummies to your order. All right, now back on with the show. All right, guys, today's guest used to be addicted to heroin. He wrote a book about it. He dated a poor, famous... Uh, come on in. Come on in. Have a seat. How you guys doing? What's Welcome going on? Welcome to Impulsive. There he is. Like, Mal, well, get ready to give him a hand. <laughs> Hi, what's going on? Welcome to Thanks Impulsive, the number one podcast Thanks in the world. Right. Guys, make oh. sure you smash that subscribe. Did you not get it? Sit down. Sit down. Oh, oh my God. God. I love Jesus. <laughs> Who's that? You're my best friend. Who do I you, love you. Who do you think that is? That's the other co-host of Impulsive. Matt Bilski, the kid that left so that George could come on? That's not me, bro. <laughs> you brought me on here to mock my profession. See, he got mad at it, bro. I told you he I'm was going to fucking get pissed off. I'm not mad at all. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm Wait, actually impressed. Bro, bro look at how much he looks like you. It is. It's and very... Do the voice. Do the voice. Do the mic voice. I don't know who any of these fuckers <laughs> do, do, do more of the mic voice. I wrote a book. <laughs> you see how good that is, bro? Yours is pretty close. You look like Abraham Lincoln. This kinda really, itches really bad. You Abraham look like you're about to pass an amendment Jenko. or pro- proclamation, emancipation proclamation. It's almost pushing it. He, we might get canceled for Steven. Can Steve I it. say something real quick? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, Mike. This what is, is it? actually a really good drink. <laughs> Thank you. It's hey, so I agree, good. man. It's so good. Yo, me and you. It's my favorite drink. Me and you are gonna get along, dude. I can tell already, I think bro. So I like you, dude. You got a positive. They upbeat. gotta fix the setup over there. I agree. You got a positive, upbeat, like type of attitude that pre- I feel like anybody would like. You let me yeah, ask okay. you a question. Hold on a sec. Okay. <laughs> you gotta, do you have a? It's it's a Halloween spooky. Do you have a strangely large cock? Yeah. I dude, you yeah. really <laughs> fucking nailed this, Jess. So does you got Logan. the perfect. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? Why is Tate up there? Because we, we, we were realized... praying to God. George is here. He wanted to pray. We were and doing... we had to put our God up Jesus there. Jesus is my know? daddy. Can I say something real quick? <laughs> no, Mike, relax. Relax. <laughs> we were doing a thing where like, we say that Tate's a bad influence to the generation, which I agree with, but I'm also doing like an impulsive parody, you know? Like, you know, Logan Paul's boyfriend. Have you Paul's watched boyfriend. that show? Have you watched that show? <laughs> impulsive? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just watched the it's one. It's actually where a re- like a really incredible <laughs> show. <laughs> it's a it's a good quality program. The half interrupt is just on point. <laughs> uh, are you good? Are you, is, is that everything, Mike? Yeah, are you good? Yeah, I'm great. Do you want to know what I was gonna be for Halloween? What? <laughs> Blake Griffin. Oh, that's good. 
I'm you, not kidding. And you're not going to do it now? No, but just because then it's going to draw too much attention. People are going to think he's, I'm like out in like, like it, I just it's, it's all over no, TikTok. No, 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 when no, are no. we all going to stop? No, 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 no. What, no, what I'm saying is I just think it's a funny play on people's like thought process. On, like, that your is, own life. <laughs> no, no, no. That like, oh, is it him? Is it KD? Is it this person? Is that? I just thought I would dress up as well, one of them. Yeah. If you think and about I was going to do KD or I was going to, it doesn't really matter. Let's but, say you don't go out for Halloween and you just don't show up. You're still kind of like Blake Griffin. <laughs> That was for the people who got that. Was that was good, Tana. That I'm was sorry. that was I'm actually so good. She's funny, bro. <laughs> she didn't laugh at all. She's funny, I swear. That was hilarious was that for a woman. It was for <laughs> Tate, la- Tate I'm was Logan. Wrong. I can get away with whatever I say, you know? Who gives a fuck? Smash and subscribe. So buddy. Mike, are we just are we still pretending online that we just we don't know who the father is? Yes. Okay. What do you mean? I thought it's out. The baby's four feet long. It's only oh, yeah. out once somebody hair. that has knowledge of the situation Aiden says something. Aiden leaked it. He called you on No, I know, but uh, everybody can call each other and people can talk about it and say this, say that. But like until someone with knowledge of the situation mentions it or talks about it, then it's then The it's baby's just, hair is the color of this pumpkin. Is that giving anything away? I mean, bro, there's, you know, Gilbert Godfrey has that colored hair. Colored okay. hair. You know Gilbert Godfrey's not seven foot nine. Steven okay. has that colored hair. Okay, yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Steven I, think, I think the two. I think the two brothers that started did Facebook have that color hair? The uh, what's it called? What, yeah. are their, what are their names? <laughs> Those two twins. Okay, Mike. Enough. Can I talk about myself for a little bit? <laughs> so I woke up this morning. I was like, "Damn, I'm 32 years old. If I have a kid just right now, now, you realize that? Yeah, I, it just hit me <laughs> out of nowhere. I'm like, time's flying by, and yeah. I was like, if I have a kid right now, by the time the kid's 16 or 17, I'll be 50. That's whack, bro. You already missed the window for like young parent, I think. Yeah. What do you do? What do you want a reaction from me? Who gives a fuck? Who cares? <laughs> Be a fucking old dad, and then you could then you could die soon. Who gives a shit? But why do you? Like, think, what do you want me to fucking? Why do you think? I, why do you if think I have I, a kid when I'm 16, I'm, or when they're 16, I'm like 80. Who cares? But why Push do you think I was stressed out about that? Wheelchair. Why do you I don't think? Care. Why do you think that was bothering me? Do you think it's because society tells me that these are the things I'm supposed to do? Bro, have you taken a look at society recently, bro? Who gives a fuck what society says? That's right. The world's on serious? fire out there. We got oh we got all kinds God. of gang battles, dude. Kanye West versus the Jews. We got all <laughs> kinds of shit going yeah, on out yeah. there. Yeah, It's a fucking disaster, bro. Have you seen? Look at this kid, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> who gives a shit, bro? Have a kid when you're 80. That's what I'm having. My first kid. Yeah. So when I'm when I when they turn sixteen, I'm 112. Bro, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Bro? I'm just that saying, like, good, I want to be able. Yeah, that was good. That was a good point. I needed to hear that. But I'm just thinking, like, playing basketball with the kid. You know, I want to be able to beat the kid in sports. So play Madden with him. Play fucking play fucking NBA. Like, he's gonna be on TikTok, mouth breathing. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. Yeah. 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 Bro, like, what? You, what's going on over there? <laughs> I just don't know because everything you do I'm now. Not mocking you, I'm actually just okay. Oh, because when you laugh, no, it's I'm like, like a clown not, is in the ground. Where's the balloon thing? Do the balloon. Do the balloon bit. Pump, pump up the balloon. When are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> no, here, 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 Mike. Let me out. Guys, if you're just listening oh to this God. one right now, the clown version of Mike is using his. <laughs> Balloon to tie off, <laughs> tie off, tie off, yeah. and he's using the air pump to pretend it. In, to shoot some prime, yeah. shoot, in, in, shoot in, some yeah. prime up. <laughs> shoot well, some too far. fucking Whatever prime. Can, shoot some prime up. You know, I think us coming into the group here. Can I use this? What is this? What's this bloody fucking? <laughs> yeah, it was, that I, might be real blood. That might be actually. Damn, bro. <laughs> no, that's just makeup. I you don't give a fuck. Oh. That's, right. that's, that's just gr- that's green. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, yo, listen. When are you planning on doing this kid thing? No, I'm over it. You talked me out of it. No, 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 no. Don't, no, I, that's not what I meant to do because I'm I'm also tr- actively trying. Let's do it at the same time. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. So I'm, we can put them in the same school, there are some- same basketball team. Bro, why do you think I bought a house with too many bedrooms in a neighborhood that, that has the best school in all of Los Angeles? I am going to have a kid in the next fucking- No, we're not raising a kid in L.A. We're going to have to move. He's raising a kid in LA. He's about to take that baby out to Tao with put, like a harem of bitches. I'm putting that no, kid. I'm putting that. that kid in Donda Academy. Bro. <laughs> Donda, <laughs> Donda, bro. That's gonna get shut down. It, just no, did. Did. it got shut did. down today, bro. They just shut down a school. Yeah. If you guys have kids, are you gonna like hide them or are you going to like? 
I'm gonna so, film by bro. What, the second it comes out of the womb, I'm vlogging it. <laughs> Smash well, that like button if you guys haven't hit the subscribe. I'm gonna stop doing that. I've been practicing with my uh, with Abby's baby because my little sister just had one. Button. Baby Sloan, shout out to Baby Sloan and to Baby Chasey out there. I spent the past uh, few days with them practicing, bro. The no little, Milo, shout out. I don't get. I don't see that kid <laughs> enough, bro. He's out somewhere practicing his jump shot. <laughs> I don't know what's yeah. going on. Oh damn. But, but um, but the little the little chase my. It, was that actually like that's a clip you of me from a, a, from yeah. a previous episode? <laughs> it was a deleted that scene. was disgusting. Not, I don't think that's me. I don't think it's that bad yet. Bro, the, uh, <laughs> I feel like I called the paparazzi. Mike, here. look, before you got here, we did like a, a mock story of yours where you talk about like having sex with a girl in a nightclub bathroom or something. I'm not like doing that. that type of stuff. Anymore. But you used to, and you yeah. told stories. So when we were doing our research on all the impulsive episodes, we watched every single impulsive episode to prepare for this. <laughs> and he was telling a story earlier. And it was so spot on. What was the story you were saying before? Wait, is Oscar what was it? Neo from fucking The Matrix? <laughs> yeah. I think I was like a So we were getting into a story where uh, he was talking about you two, actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys are not funny. Oh, my costume came off. You didn't even comment on my costume. I mean, I like it, but I, would, I wouldn't give you one of those. <laughs> Damn! Right there we go. To hear the laugh and the baby at the same time <laughs> sounded like that was her. Oh my bro. god! Well, speaking of speaking of that, are we allowed to say it? What went down in Mike that? Mike and I have never hooked up. If that's what you're asking. Well, in certain like middle school classes, it depends on what you consider a hookup. Yeah. Like certain kids in like a in middle school I'm right just, now no, hooked he, up. He was by, just he was just chewing gum this one time. I'm not gonna say the time it was, and I was like, I really want to try that flavor, and so I just I I tried his gum. I was shocked. I was ha happy for the two of you because I know you're just goofing around, having fun. I don't We're even, all out. I, I made it was young, solid, it was solid fun. too. Like was honestly, it? yeah. I don't remember. Well, I mean, great. <laughs> Damn, that's not good. <laughs> for me, it was for me, it was a memorable experience. Like, well, you just do um, that, like you just forget. I about kiss shit my like friends that. sometimes. In all fairness, you probably kissed him. You probably I'm went sure in. Sure, I did. He probably went. I'm he, sure I grabbed your face, borderline attack. He was probably twenty percent, eighty percent. Yeah, it, there was. Uh, I, I, I just saw it as like a... Didn't I make out with your girl too? Maybe, but like for me, a lot of things I like to do in life, I, I use this excuse where I'm like, fuck it, gotta do it for the culture. And that was just one of those for moments where I was like, dude, I had to do it for the culture. That's what bro. I told you know him a saying? while ago. I was like, yeah. I did it for the plot. And it wasn't even like, and it wasn't even like a make out session with you feels like well, it's not enough for the culture. You know yeah, what I'm like saying? It's not but, like I was like, yeah, take like me I home like, and rail me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, it was a cool moment. We were in Arizona and it was just dope, dude. It was still <laughs> fucking. We were in a we mystery in, location. We in and it is and what it, it is. Amazing. But, but, uh, we were in Abu Dhabi and it was awesome. Guys, we got our own little squad brewing, and I love it because we have our, our spin off squad, my crew, your crew, you got your own crew, but now when we come together, it just. Yeah. Poof, you don't magic. want me to have my own my own crew. You're so controlling. You're I like, want you to have my crew. Yeah. You have my look crew at this now. Crazy you do my eyes, podcast. But you look like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Can I just say something? Jeff tells me what to wear, what to eat, uh, who to hang out one with. One second, Mike. We are interviewing the guests right now. Uh, guys, you know what? Uh, I think this is a good time to take a caller, right? Should we? Yeah. All right, let's do it, guys. Kiss me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ask who's gonna. We could continue this conversation about the kiss, but... Uh, no, I think I think we got it. We got it. It was Tana a nice moment. Mike hooked up and Jeff is so jealous. No, because you were going to kiss me too, and I was like, no, no, was Tana, I? don't mess up our business here. Would that mess up our business? I kiss all my friends. Like you're just like fuck it, I've got to throw. You Tana, are like that though. Are you though. gonna look at the caller, yeah. Tana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, 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 <gasps> fuck, 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 Daddy, you know I have a thing for him. Michael Myers, how'd you figure out how to use technology? Zoom, zoom technology. Michael, <laughs> you're supposed to be I'm locked so, up. I'm so Michael Myers is so hot to me. Like I have a fetish. That's so weird that you like Michael Myers. He's a piece of shit. He murders That's why babysitters. I like him. <laughs> Look at that face all burned up. His hair's all it's burned up. It's just weirdly up. hot. Like, don't you look at the features. That's the ugliest face I've ever seen, it's probably. Not, it's not real. That is usually what I go for. She Yo, just likes mics. Michael. <laughs> 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 I told a story on the previous episode. I don't know if you watched it or not, but I want revenge, bro. You fucked me up when I was 16 at that haunted house, and that was wrong. You hit a child. You hit a minor. And now I'm grown up, and let's fucking meet up. I want revenge. What's up? Come see me, bro. <laughs> Let's fight on the next Misfits card. I love you. Can you mute me so he doesn't hear it? His yeah. personality's kind of whack, bro. I know. I don't know how they made 20 movies off this. 
He don't he even, even say anything. He just sits there like a dumbass. <laughs> What's your powers, bro? How do you always fucking find everybody and murder them? You're old. You're slow. You don't even run. He like he doesn't run, but he somehow always catches up. Does he ever fuck? Does he fuck in any of the movies? That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I don't. I, <laughs> do you fuck? He nodded. He I'm nodded. Trying to be for Jamie that. Do you Curtis. think the aliens fuck? We've talked about Mike, this on right, shows not before. Not right now, bro. Yeah. Not this. No, right now, Mike. No, I'm just How do you think aliens? Wait, that, see, see, oh. me and you. The questions you're asking are the questions I would ask. I know, and that's why when you say them, I get, I get a huge <laughs> smile, bro, because I'm you super guys. excited, bro. Dude, me and you could should talk after, bro. Yeah. All right, well, Mike's, sorry, wait, Mike's, me, Mike's, and, Mike's. me and me should talk after. <laughs> Can I say something real quick? Yeah. Enough, Mike. Wait, we have a serial say, killer in the room. <laughs> Can we focus here nah, before yeah, somebody gets knifed up? That once Dahmer came out, this dude's old news. Ooh. Nobody gives a shit about this dude. Dahmer's the new hot topic. Yeah, what, are thoughts thoughts on that? What, what are your thoughts on that Netflix show? <laughs> Everybody's sexualizing this Dahmer character. What do you think? You think that's cool that they should do that with serial killers? Sexualize them? Glorify them? <laughs> they, yeah, that's right. That's a PC answer. Yeah. We got woke Michael Myers here. Michael, I figured you'd live in like a basement or something, you know? Looks like you got like a, got a little a, West Elm couch is that going a futon? on. Yeah, you got some modern furniture there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's CB2. Yeah, show us what else. Show the, us where you live. Show us your, where your place looks like. Why could this be hot porn? I'm sorry. Like POV. What do you pay Mike for this Myers. apartment? Like 3500 a month? Oh, he's got a view. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like in Miami living. Damn, dude. Yo, what? this is Miami. Holy Damn, shit, bro. Michael. <laughs> Mike been living large, <laughs> Michael's bro. in a penthouse Holy in Miami. shit. So what are you even doing now? Are you still out killing people, or are you just chilling now? Because <laughs> life's, life's turned around. No more killing, huh? Or are you still... Oh, oh <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. It gave me butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Once a year, yeah, yeah. What? Tonight, tonight's the night, so tonight it is, and then I guess... After that, just back to penthouse living. Yeah, yeah, nice. Smart, <laughs> <laughs> smart hey, man. He, he is getting up there in yeah, age. Yeah, yeah. How old is he now? I mean, bro, the movie, those first <laughs> movies were in the eighties, and he was already like thirty. He's got to be like seventy, eighty years old. He's still fucking. He's probably get, Mike. You ever thought about having a kid now at your age? <laughs> Why not? Too? Are you too old? <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm worried about. That's why I was stressed out this morning. You dude, know? can you imagine him bringing his 16-year-old to basketball practice right now, dude? Tana, if you fucked him, think about how stinky that mask is that he's been wearing. It doesn't have to come off. You I wanna... want it to come off. Yeah, you don't want that to come off. Mr. Myers, if you if you fucked Tana this weekend, would you wear a condom? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's my type of dude. Would you go get would you go get tested after? <laughs> what? Why you just spread it? Would you continue spreading spread that? Spread what? Around like, my spread head it! <laughs> spread it's crazy! Look at him spreading it! He said he's gonna spread it! Bro, that's, that's a way, way to wait, kill! Wait, yeah. wait, wait, would you pull out? <laughs> <laughs> Taking our kids to Donda! Let's go! Donda Academy! <laughs> Yo, Don't this is it. wild, bro. This is crazy. What First is this people episode? ever to get Michael Myers on a podcast. If you guys are watching from home right now, make sure you smash that subscribe button. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Would you drink right, Prime? Bro. Do you drink Prime? That's right. Oh, Why are we promoting? <laughs> <laughs> All the mics get along Somehow great. Somehow got you to do I'm it. I'm so sick of this company, bro. <laughs> I, I, I hate it. I want to... I'm gonna start promoting a different company, bro. If people are listening to this, just Wait, the audio version, question. it's gonna be terrible. Why don't you promote Dizzy like Mike promotes Prime? I know you don't drink, but it's like yeah, it's tough for me to walk around with a can of I'm alcohol. I'm your co-host. You're you when know. I preach sobriety to people, and <laughs> but like you'd think you'd forsake that for if me. If you, you know? are gonna drink, drink Dizzy and drink responsibly. I thought that was good. I, I thought feel that was smarter. Good too. I feel smarter when I'm like looking when like you're Logan. Logan. Twenty one, twenty one plus only. I'm like you familiar with Impulsive? You watch Impulsive? Oh, you do. Oh shit! All right. Do you think Jeff FM is better? That's what I was gonna say. I'm happy. You I know it, it just wasn't coming out because the brain fog. I got you. I'm not trying <laughs> to he compete said yes. here. He said yes. He's okay. All right, and I guess that's it for this interview. Thank you, Michael. That was really good. Yes, sir. Nice so to have well you spoken. on. So well spoken. So articulate. Do you want to do a face reveal at the end? No, he, you don't want to show yourself, bro. That'd be big. That get the ratings in. Michael Myers face reveal. <laughs> Maybe next year, huh? Uh -huh. All right, I love you, baby. I'll see you later. I'll see you at 11 later, buddy. <laughs> see you, Mike. <laughs>
You know, he's not so bad. Uh, he seems pretty nice, dude. That's what I'm saying. Sweet guy. I'm happy we squashed our beef. <laughs> you and Michael Myers? Yeah, I had beef with him. Because <laughs> he beat you oh, up at tea night? Because he beat you up at tea night? Yeah, it was pretty much, it was a haunted house in Staten Island, a popular haunted house. And I went there and they have like all these characters and the Michael Myers guys came over to me with a knife and he actually started stabbing me and fucking me up and threw me on the ground. And I was 16. I was a 16-year-old kid with my friends. So we leave. We start throwing eggs at him and shit to get revenge. But then I found out that it was tied to a Sweet 16 where I had a beef with his little brother, the character that's playing Michael Myers, not the real Michael Myers. So that's that stemmed back from that. And then we got into we got into it. But now Did, we're good. For you, was Mischief Night really big? Hell yeah. Bro, Mischief Night, dude, for me was like the most important night of the fucking year. Can you explain Mischief Night? <laughs> okay, so Mischief Night is the night before Halloween. I'm sure everybody watching the show knows what Mischief Night is. But Do it's you know? a night when... Never heard of it. Not at all. Yeah, not at all. I think it's an Wait, East actually, Coast... Oh, I think it's, it's a scumbag thing. It's such an East Coast scumbag thing then. It's the night before Halloween and you go out and basically... <laughs> If you have parents that actually care about you, they give you like kind of ground rules, mm -hmm. right? And some of the kids whose parents didn't care about them, they had no rules, My right? Me. And sometimes the <laughs> people would intermingle. Like I was allowed to do toilet paper, but I was never allowed to do eggs. Yeah, eggs was what like about the flour and the sock. No, no, no. It got it gets worse. So you know one this? year, flour and a sock, bro. People got TikTok now and shit, and this, they don't know this nothing feels about like, this. It feels like two grandpas with their like back in well, the no, day listen, story and the kids. Listen, like, cool story. so so people. People started doing eggs and then it kept ramping up and people started doing fucking bologna on cars, bro. Bologna on cars? It takes the paint off the fucking car, bro, right? Same with cheese. Or whatever, deli meats, right? So it kept leveling up and one year, my older sister had me go out for mischief night with people her age and she's five years older than me and I was like 13 and they were like 18. Welcome to so, the big leagues. Big leagues. So we go out and I'm like, hey, where's the toilet paper? And this kid pulls out a potato launcher, a large <laughs> piece of PVC piping that he built up a, a barrier on one side with a twistable cartridge with a grill igniter and you spray hairspray into it and then you put a potato into it like a cannon and you spray the potato first so it lights on fire when you launch it and then you hit the fucking you spray mad uh, hairspray in it hit the igniter hit the igniter and then it goes like that that's it like that <laughs> launches right and we would launch them like into a field further than you could throw it with your arm football fields bro Ooh. it's like a rocket launcher but for potatoes would you shoot them against like windows so, I, remember, no, no, no. I remember these bro so, I remember these actually so we shot so we shot one into a field and then the kid loaded up another one he goes watch <laughs> watch this Mikey like that horrifying <laughs> turns towards the house where a couple old folks lived oh shit thump Right in a flaming potato right near the window, bro. Through the fuck. So we oh all took God. off. See, the goal is just chaos. You just want to cause chaos. That's chaos. That's incredible. I've never heard of I grew of up that. in Vegas. That just sounds like every Friday there. Yeah, it was, it was rough. Mm -hmm. I had and, a bad couple years with shit like And that. Ryan Coyle, uh, he caught me, my sister's older friend, because I guess it was like one of his relatives' house later on that night, and he took an egg and he smashed it. He came around the corner with all black on, smashed it in my face, and rubbed the shells into my face. So when I went home, my whole face was bloody and scratched up. Why the fuck did he do that? Because he was pissed so, off that I shot the potato in his like his grandma or aunt's house or something. So he, he beat pissed. up a kid? Yeah, I was 13, bro. But Damn. that's the time you should start getting your ass beat. That's the reason why all these kids are on TikTok, that's like L Michael plus Myers. ratio, yeah. because they don't get their asses beat. If so they true. got their asses beat more often, they wouldn't be talking shit. You that's know what true. I'm saying? I got yeah. my ass beat. You got your ass beat. Several times. And we beat asses. Too, yeah, bro. more than ass. That, more than I got my ass beat. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a solid record. Yeah, but I but the ones I lost, I took major L's. Yeah, like hospitalized type. Yeah, shit. but I I got pretty lucky with a lot because I know when I'm like getting jumped and shit, just take off and run. Don't try to fight battles. I'm not gonna win. I'll yeah, get out see, of there. You know, up, I'll throw dude. a few pop 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 sucker punch and then bounce. You I know? had one from with the kids from Devon where they were talking shit to this girl in the parking lot, and I didn't know there was more than two of them. So I was like, all right, two of them, I could at least clock one. Dude, yeah. like six more. With the girls. Out. No, no, no. <laughs> I, was with, I was protecting the girl. Did oh, you, Andrew did Taylor? The Javon kids, they were teeing off on my head with their tin boots, bro. It was bad. Did you ever have like group organized oh. meetup fights? I have the craziest one. I, it's too probably too long of a story for this program. I'll give you the short version. I was hooking up with this girl from the opposite school because does your town have two rival schools? Oh, yeah. High schools? So there's foreign in law in my school, in my town, right? In Milford. Shout out Milford, Connecticut. 
And there was this kid on the other at law that me and him didn't get along. And I started hooking up with the girl that he was hooking up with. And it turned into this massive thing. We met this place called the Bat Cave behind the subway, head, behind the uh, WPLR 99.1 headquarters in, in Milford, Connecticut. And that was their turf. And we partied there that night because it was their turf. And he said to me, I'm coming alone. So you be alone in the parking lot. One on one. Don't pull any bullshit. So I so I'm like, all right, fuck it. I had my boys sit in two cars with tinted windows off in the okay. side of the parking lot. He probably pulled up alone, right? Uh twelve people. No way, yeah. Ran out with twelve Never. people on just me on just me. Yeah. Thought it was a it was game like over. All my boys piled out and it was one of the it was the best bro rumble of our entire high school career. Weapons or no weapons. No weapons, massive hospitalizations, deformed ears, <laughs> broken noses. I, bro, it was there was this one kid, Brandon Kinzerski. How was, do you remember these names? Oh, cause this was my squad. This is my squad. This one kid, Brandon Kinzerski, and all he was doing was just walking over and just and pl- and doing cleanup. Just haymakers. They're like knocked out Fuck, by four, four kids. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. If your boy's fighting somebody, take him out from the side. Side That's rap. all he was doing. Staten Island side rap. <laughs> Danny Dano took a couple bad shots. I hate men. This conversation made me gay. Yeah, it's bad, huh? <laughs> yes, I am gay. But this well, is but the dumb gay. shit that we did as kids. No, and it, it made us into who in we, we are. That's the last that brawl you guys got in. Three days ago? You no, going to fight three days ago? No, probably. Damn, yeah, it's been so lovely. You're lying. You the last did. brawl, like with multiple people? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's been. Probably 16. Yeah, it's been a while. It's no, a while probably time. 20. 23. Well, that one, the one that I got jumped was bad. That what about was, the one in New York, Jeff? Um, last I one was going to say it. Last Thank one was you. in Miami with uh, the guy that was playing Michael Myers. You know who that was? That was not Cody. It was Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to do a face reveal or something. <laughs> Get Yo. a little clout off that performance. Sorry, was my leg t- touching your leg? But yeah, me and this nut job used to get into it all the time. He would just start every fight <laughs> when we were like drinking. This, you go, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm scared Jeff's going to hit me. Yeah, yeah what's yeah. going on with y'all? No, I'm what? kidding. Are you, did you guys fuck yet? No. no. Not, why yet? Why yet? Can a guy know or a girl just be friends? Of course, I'm friends with a lot of girls. I'm right. friends with you. I'm so happy how things are going right now. Yeah. And we didn't talk about what she did for me the other day, but she did something really nice. And it just shows that I got real friends out here. And it, it, it means a lot. I don't think I'd want to fuck you. I feel like we would just never talk again. You're a weirdo freak. Yeah, same <laughs> with you. Fuck. That's why we make such a good duo, because we can say shit like that, you know? Yeah. Ugh. What, yeah, what do you, what no, do you no, think it would be like if you guys did? Like, like, do you think it would be like... Cause, 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 like separately. Well, I, I, I would assume you're just like some sort of violent fucking psychopath in the bedroom. No, Jesus. I heard, I heard, I've heard good things about her. No, no, I don't, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. She is a professional in the bedroom. <laughs> oh my God. Don't doubt that. That's like a, oh my God. That's what like I'm saying is, like, if you guys were to consummate right this love, do you think that you would? It would be like some like. We shouldn't do this. Like, and you have your hand like cradled <laughs> under under her head, yeah. and like it, you're its missionary, and she's yeah, like, she's yeah. like, it feels so wrong, but really sensual. It also and feels like, where whatever that. Uh, and then I don't know. You I know heard some saying? crazy shit you did the other day. You also fucked. What? No, I don't. <laughs> you know he cuts out all the cool shit that goes against him because it's like because he's like I got a fifty two percent female audience they can't think I'm out there bro. fucking. He left in a story the other day. Well, obviously he left it in. Like I don't mind leaving it in, but I period bled all over someone's face, and then I swear to God I can straight up just say like <laughs> Is that what this was. Yeah. <laughs> I blew my nose in it. God. And then you can say the slightest thing about him and it's cut out. It just yeah, makes cuts himself look like fucking Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? They, first of all, who? Because I didn't have sex with nobody in months. No, it was a while ago. What's her name? <laughs> Don't even know who that is. <laughs> Are you really going to do this? Censor it. Oscar Censor cut it. it. Wait. All right, guys. Today's episode is also sponsored by BetterHelp. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. Look, we all got problems. I woke up earlier today and I was like, what am I doing with my life? I'm 32 years old. When did this happen? You know, life just goes by so fast. I need somebody to talk to. When you learn to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. Uh, I was going through a really tough time. Sometimes I wake up and I just feel like I'm going insane and I need somebody to talk to and not just friends, a licensed professional. So BetterHelp is the perfect thing for me with my busy schedule. I don't have time to go down and sit in an office, wait in a waiting room. I just get right on here. I get on my computer 
And boom, just like that, it was able to help me with my anxiety and depression. If you're thinking about going to therapy, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with the therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists anytime. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you awesome. there. Visit betterhelp.com slash jefffm today for 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash jefffm. All right, now back on Impulsive, jefffm. Can we talk a little about Tate? Because I watched his interview with Steve Odoo last night. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's talk about fucking Tate. What you know he's got, a he's got a dent can I, in can his I head. Say Did you ever notice if yeah, you look probably, closely at He fights at people, bro. He probably you think it got dented in or it's from birth? You're Maybe asking me questions got, that I don't have answers to. He's got his head mashed in like Mr. Potato Head, like when you push <laughs> okay, in one so first side. First things first, I'm a professional. <laughs> so I'm he did an interview with Steve Oldu because they both were banned. Now they're doing Rumble. They're on Rumble. It's yeah, like uh, YouTube and yeah, uh, where you can do sure, whatever the fuck sure. you want. Yep. I watched their shit last night, and he now is going back and forth with Ethan Klein because Ethan, our, our friend, our uh, new friend. Who's you know, going back and forth with him? Yeah. Him and Steve have beef. Him and Tate have beef. And Ethan just got himself censored too he's, he's banned. banned well i mean and he said he was gonna gas ben shapiro bro. i know i know say that. i know bro he just listened i i don't even know what to say about bro, that bro. everybody's like, going wild it was like, the worst time and it's do like, you see people like that like you see h3 say he's gonna gas someone you're like i need him on the barbershop next episode no like, so what, he did, you plan did that, that he did that after we did the cut and then all the news publications that are showing him they're all showing him with this stupid haircut so <laughs> I have to see him <laughs> with this double mohawk and it's growing out. It looks terrible. Like, hey, this is another case of your luck, Jeffy. Dude, oh, he didn't say he wanted to gas him either. He said he would. He hoped he would be the first to get gassed. If the there was heating another. Yeah, such the a world is heating up. Well, you can't. I don't you even want to repeat. Yeah, you also can't just be. What well, you also just can't be. T right now is a real hot time for that space, bro. For the for the, the Jewish Jews? space. Yeah, real yeah. hot time. Hey, dude, for this. it's heating up out there. Bro. I don't know how to feel about Steve. Steve is such a nice guy and has done so much good shit for people for in his videos and has helped so many people. Um, but 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 he he. He has always since the. I mean, dude, when I met Steve, will do it for the first time. He was chugging a bottle of vodka, yeah, an entire bottle of vodka. He he likes to walk that line, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. like, I I feel like the place he's at now is gonna end up being a better place for him and the type of content that he wants to make, and it will behoove him and, and his audience. So you know, but I actually do feel kind of bad for Steve because it it I, it just seemed like um he really it loved his like channel. It, yes, it he seemed put like his whole life into it, and then they just take it away and they don't tell you. Do you correct. ever get it back? Is it banned for life? He didn't. He what told did he me he didn't even know. Why. It seemed like it was gambling related. Really. Gambling because uh, uh, he has the dot com on the. He kept on the links. Like, so yeah. he's banned for life. Tate's banned for life. And now what Kanye's doing is way worse than these guys, so he'll probably be banned off. Well, I got the shit. I got media. shit from the um, because as much as they want to call me the uh, um, woke matrix agent that was Susan from YouTube hired, I'm actually as, as most of you guys know not woke at all. I'm like mm -hmm. just not at, at all. And I got in a little bit of trouble on the BFF shit because uh, I said that I don't believe in in lifetime censorship. Yeah, I sold crack. Mm -hmm. You. Sold cocaine. And terrible things, yeah. You terrible sold things. Your body, like, bro. Like, yeah, you sold your body in in fucking <laughs> Old Town Vegas. What's that? What's the old area called? The old Fremont. Uh, you sold your body on Fremont, <laughs> and now look at you. So, so what I'm, but what I'm getting at is this: comeback stories are amazing. Mm -hmm. My story is a comeback story. Your story is a comeback story. All these comeback stories. Yeah. And so, and like, I, I, I it, they, the people on, a uh, <laughs> couple people on the BFFs audience, or just like people in general, didn't like the idea of me saying. I believe people deserve second chances. And you, I agree. You, Logan Paul. I was once canceled. canceled. KSI and I used to be enemies, and it now we're best button. friends. We're BFFs, and we started a beverage company together, Drink Prime. It no, but I mean, button. no, but I mean that. But but I think the route that that Steve and Tate and Kanye and I all these so people. I was so canceled, bro. Until I fought Floyd, I was so canceled. I thought I would never have another opportunity to have a career ever again. I knew you'd come back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> You could sometimes disagree with me. You don't have to always. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No, you're right. No. See, you're still doing it. You're still. Yeah, you're right. I will disagree with you. Right. So here's the big news of the week. Elon finalized the deal with Twitter. I'm fired. Walked yeah. in there with a sink. Fired everyone. And it seems like it's trying to create this, like, one-stop shop for creators over on Twitter, which we'll see how, how that plays out. And I'm interested to see who gets back on Twitter now. Like Elon took over freedom of speech, you know, CEO of freedom of speech. It does he automatically let Trump, uh, Kanye, T 
rotate all Dark back on. on? Maybe that's a question you should ask China. <laughs> <laughs> that's that was nice time in China. Y'all are goaded for that. Y'all are goaded for that. Maybe that's a question you should ask China. <laughs> it is. I think we leave it at that. You know, I don't have the answers. Maybe China does. You're what do you think? Giving Trump right now as well. China. What do you guys think about what China. I said about the second chances though? Uh, I I do agree. I think it's tough right now because Kanye's really got himself in hot water. Oh, he, no, he's but on, you know you he's know on what? Break, the dude. world is controversial. Kanye's an extremely. <laughs> see, he's so confident. He's obviously egotistical, narcissistic. But you gotta be at that out, level bro. of being an entertainer when you have to go on stage in front of arenas and perform. You have to have a giant ego to be able to do that, right? Yeah, for sure. But it, but it needs to stop at some point. Of Otherwise, course. you develop a God complex. Now that, yeah, he developed the God complex, and now he has his family that he just has to watch from the outside. And imagine your family was the Kardashians, who are absolutely crushing everything, and now you can't even go back to them. I, when I first saw Kanye get involved in that family, remember everybody, every guy that got into it was yeah, they it came always out, they the came Kardashian out, curse. They came out crazy, yeah, and yeah. I was like, that won't happen to Kanye. He's too. How, why would you say that though? Because at that point he was already talking about Lexapro. He was already talking about being bipolar. Like this is not new news. Like I, was I, it? I think that came kind of after. I think that came out of the hospital and shit. All that came out. I after. almost think Kim yeah. like kept him in his place, and then like when he, they weren't. Yeah. He went crazy. It's just it's just so it, the whole situation. So I, I feel bad for Kanye. Like I I actually do. Like, <laughs> Like I, I want, dude. Cause look, cause listen. Like as a as a person that talks about mental health a lot, like oh here he goes. I'm just kidding. I'm just I kidding. hope that people that have those type of issues can figure it out. You know, figure what I'm it saying? out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he cle he clearly like has an issue. And my <laughs> the the thing that fucks him up too is that fan base of his yeah. is sitting there like. So he's toxic. not crazy. You just don't understand. He's exposing uh -huh. the elites, the, yeah. the, the 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 elites, the the matrix elites that are running this world and that are pulling all the strings. Okay, buddy, in the fucking next door to Denny's in your mom's basement, tweeting about fucking the, the Matrix and the global elite. What's your plan? What are you gonna What's What are you gonna do about it? You know what happens at Bilderberg? Do Do you know what happens in Epstein Island? Kanye Trump at the cross section of Pizzagate and Al Jones was right, and and like and Kanye's right, and you guys just don't get it. Why don't you wake up, you fucking sheep? Stop being woke and understand that Kanye is spitting the truth about these people that are puppeteers that run a global elite nationalist fascist organization. Mm -hmm. Dude, what is a more interesting? Interesting story than the fact that the people that aren't making it in this world aren't making it because of the global super nationalist elite that are like suited up hiding behind closed doors saying the gas price goes to nine dollars <laughs> nine dollars like it, bro you and Kanye man like does, co does corruption exist yes is fu our fucking like Lizards uh, running the world. Yeah, are no. lizards sitting behind closed doors with Alex Jones predicting the future with global super nationalist fascist pig humans that were harvested in China? Like, I'm so sick of these fucking people. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. That's yeah. the argument for conspiracies. Is yeah. Like, conspiracy, conspiracies are more fun to believe in. They're so fun. They're so but fun, dude. They're not real. Well, if they're not real, maybe you're just saying that because you're a fucking agent of the well, Matrix. Well, I sold my soul like a couple. Like, yeah. Enjoy that steak, buddy. You're an agent of the Matrix. <laughs> We're over here living free of the Matrix, okay? I got out not too long ago. Me, Kanye, Andrew Tate, Steve will do it. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> We're not in the fucking Matrix, buddy, okay? So maybe you should try escape Wait, too. you just have to be bald? Steve's not bald. <laughs> oh. And also, Damn Steve it. is not a part of that. Steve doesn't <laughs> say shit about the Matrix. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck about that shit, dude. It's crazy. Watching that interview, I felt really bad for him because all he cared about was his YouTube channel. Bro, all Kanye cared about it. was his family. He just wants his family back. And now he's on the spiral going after the Jews. And he's not not doing it right. I don't see a way that he can ever get that family back now. It's well, not dude, way think to about... Did you see he tweet he posted at 50, at 50 Cent? Did he? Dude, 50's reaction to everything is, is perfect, bro. He's literally perfect. What did he perfect. say? This one? Oh, cut ties with 50 Cent. Curtis Action has cut ties. Nah, 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 nah. There's a new one. Kanye So what? he posted that. Yeah, that's it right there. So he posted that. Kanye said, we got Don to school designs. We need to build with 50 in Houston. <laughs> 50 Amen. Cent. Amen reposted it on his Instagram and said, yo, you're too hot. Go cool off right now. The feds are watching you, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> 50's hilarious, 50's the best. All right, well, we got we got a big uh, weekend planned. Thank you guys for coming on here and, and doing this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're right. Maybe we are living in the Matrix, dude, and we need to escape.
and move next to Denny's. Yeah. Do you want to hit Mike with a uh, motivational music? Yeah. I didn't even plan anything. Well, you got them always, Mike. Uh, give it, give a little speech for the kids out there going trick or treating. Watch out for fentanyl and watch out for. Make sure don't no, eat right. candy. Have the family that's, search the candy. Who does that? No, remember it was razor blades. And I don't lollipops? think this ever, ever actually like, happened. Like, ever really, really happen? Like, yeah. that's expensive. And that you, could be another conspiracy theory. I don't know. You don't, like, Did think parents about just it. say like, that? You don't, like, if you're putting the razor blade in the candy, you're not even going to see the kid, like, eat it and crow. Like, what's the point? Like, you're just at home jerking that? it to that? Like, yeah, the thought you, of some kid. Where do you get off? You don't even yeah. see the kid die. That's, like, you know what I mean? And no, you just see it in the news, I guess, the, eating the razor blade candy. Uh, like, oh, bro, okay. can you imagine sticking a blade to a kid? cat and like drugs yeah. are expensive like no drug dealers like here's a free eight ball in your fucking mike and ikes like you know what yeah, i mean like yeah. If you got, yeah if you got why would they waste drugs no if you could identify which packages those were you could intercept them before they even make it to the kids uh, i did a bunch of mushrooms hand them over to tana and she can do what she does with them. <laughs> why me why me mike how am i somehow <laughs> getting everyone the else in this room is fucking, fucking, fucking he can't attack mr him drug right book now. himself is calling me a fucking drug whore like <laughs> god damn He's man. not allowed to attack him right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking like that. Yeah, I kind of like this because you have to respect me a little more on this show now. You no haven't problem. yelled of course. at me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to wear this wig every episode from now on. You're right. Yeah. You're so right. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Guys, wrap us up here. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Um, this was a, a great episode, but we got to go out trick or treat in. Mike and I are flying to Arizona. We're going to Scottsdale for well, your ex. No, 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 no. If fight. they're watching it right now, we already went. We're in we're in Scottsdale right, right now. now. <laughs> Enjoying the fight. Can't believe it. Jake Paul got... He won. Who knows? He won by split decision. Jake Paul won by split decision in round... Oh, at the end of the fight. Full Yay. overtime. It went to, it went to overtime. <laughs> Damn, it's crazy that Jake won that fight. By disqualification, Silva Yay. threw a head kick. Damn, it's crazy that Jake lost that fight. Oh. Ooh, yeah, man. You know, Jake looked good out there, but you know, he fought one of the best fighters in the world. In what the do you history expect? of the world, bro. Yeah, I'm nothing compared to you. Listen, they tied. They ended up giving him a draw. It's like Logan Paul KSI all over again. I know. Listen, ever since Hold Jake on, and just I, one more on the win. It takes out one of the Jake Paul just took out one of the greatest combat sports athletes of all time. The only question now is what's next for him? What's next for the kid? Look, anything's possible. Ever since Jake and I were little kids growing up in Ohio <laughs> together, you know, he always has a work ethic and you know, the kid is gonna <laughs> Yo, that's tuberculosis. Mike, oh, yeah. Mike, can I tell a fucking story without you button in? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna can do I say it. something real quick. <laughs> I <laughs> bet you guys had the best childhood. <laughs> it's actually tough, man. My dad I wish I was, was uh, alcoholic. He used to hit us. <clears throat> and is that true? What? Which part? I, I said my dad was an alcoholic. He used to hit us. I feel like it's accurate enough. I just guess. He definitely used to hit him, but I don't know if he was like an alcoholic. Okay. Well, my dad used to hit us a lot. I would have, but also he loved us, up. and he pushed us to work hard and train in the gym and be the best every day, bro. That's right. Every day. And Can look I say at us now. Quick? We are headlining two arenas, some of the biggest events in combat sports history, back to back, yeah. a week apart. It is absolutely insane. It's never been done before, and I am just so proud. And of I'm your my best brother. friend. And I love you guys. If you're watching at home right now and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, what's good, bro? Come on, we are taking over the world. I'm going to space. I'm Logan Paul. This is Mike Malik. And George had to leave to go to church. But uh, we love you. Happy Halloween. And we will. Uh, this is Tana. Thank you, Tana. This is Tana. Thank you. Thank you, Tana. Hey, everybody in the audience out there, thank you so much for having me back on. And I just want to say you guys are so fucking smart. And your costumes are probably so creative because of your high intelligence levels. And drink. Drink. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. Drink dizzy. Oh, drink dizzy. Oh, too much.